The Cathedral City of Winchester is England's ancient capital and former seat of King Alfred. Winchester has always been a conservative seat, although the Lib Dems held it from 1997 to 2010. This year, Steve Bryan has held on to the seat that he first won for the Conservatives back in 2010. In 2015, the Conservatives won and held their majority with 55% of the vote and nearly 17,000 majority. Sandwiched between Salisbury and Winchester, Romsey and Southampton North has a large student population and more than a third of its workforce are highly qualified with above average numbers of managers and directors. The seat also boasts some of the lowest unemployment in the country. This time around the Conservatives won with 54% of the vote and a majority of 17,712. This means Caroline Noakes holds the seat for the Conservatives. Situated in the south of England is the seat of New Forest East in Hampshire. One in 20 is an apprentice, one in 10 is self-employed and one in five is a pensioner. It is areas such as defence, transport, storage and tourism that are important sectors within this constituency. The New Forest has, has returned Conservative MPs since 1910. Julian Lewis has won here since 1997. He held the seat in 2010 with 52.8% of the vote. Liberal Dems coming in second and Labour in third. In 2015, the Conservatives claimed victory with a vote share of 56% and a majority of over 19,000. The big shock here was with UKIP, claiming second place and a massive 12.5% rise since 2010. The Isle of Wight constituency is heavily dependent on tourism, with its diverse landscape proving attractive to visitors. Almost a quarter of residents in this seat are aged 65 and older, and the constituency created in 1832 has by far the largest electorate in the UK, with over 110,000 people. Andrew Turner holds a seat for the Conservatives with a majority of 13,000, over 40% of the vote. The big shocks here came from UKIP, who took second place with a vote increase of nearly 18%. The Greens, who took third, also saw a massive rise, 12%. Despite these threats, the seat looks set to remain decidedly blue for the foreseeable future. The Mion Valley constituency is one of the newest seats, having only been created before the 2010 election. The seat was expected to be an important marginal between the Conservatives and the Lib Dems back in 2010. But in the end, Conservative MP George Hollingbury won the seat with 56% of the vote. Hollingbury returned in 2015 in a fight to retain his blue seat. A fight he won with a majority of 20,000 and 61% of the vote. The big news here though was the rise of UKIP once again, who increased their vote share by nearly 12% since 2010 to beat off the Labour Party and make second place. Centred on the small cathedral city of Chichester, this constituency includes the market towns of Mindhurst and the seaside resorts of Selsey. It's famous for Goodwood with its race course and its racing circuit and Caldray Park, the international polo venue. Rolls-Royce is one of the largest local employers of the area and its tourism and leisure that are important sectors for the voters. Back in 2010, Conservative Andrew Tyree, Chichester's MP since 97, held the seat. He returned again in 2015, winning 57% of the vote, a majority of nearly 25,000. That's 43% ahead of his nearest rivals, UKIP. This seat set to remain Conservative for the good time to come. Dominated by its 11th century castle, the constituency of Arundel and South Downs has long been a stronghold of Conservative support. Howard Flight was the seat's Conservative MP from 97 until 2005, but he fell from grace over comments he made about the Tory economic policy. Flight was succeeded by Nick Herbert, and he went on to win a majority in 2015, with 26,000% and a 60% share of the vote. This was another seat that saw the UKIP shine, seeing a rise of 40% since 2010. Bad days for Lib Dems, however, seeing a whopping 21.7 fall in support. Despite this UKIP rise, I think it's fair to say that the Tories will be king of the castle for a good while yet. <laughs>